Hello, I'm Michael Laron, best-selling author and YouTuber, and in this video, we're going to talk about some of the exciting new changes with Papyrus Author. As you know, Papyrus Author has two plans, a free plan and a paid plan. Historically, you had to use the paid plan if you wanted to use features like character sheets, the timeline, and the thinkboard. Now, the paid plan features are available to all users, so all users can enjoy all of Papyrus Author. If you're a current free user, be sure to visit papyrusauthor.com plans to see a breakdown of all the new features that are available under your free plan now. Now, let's jump over to my computer and I'll give you a demo of the new features. I'm here in a project I've set up in Papyrus Author, and the first feature I want to show you is the new and improved character sheets. Character sheets are one of my favorite features in Papyrus Author because they allow you to access all of your character details at the click of a button. Now I've created a few character sheets already and you'll see that my character names are highlighted in the turquoise color here and if I click or hover over any of them I'll see this new and improved character sheet view. So I can see all of the different character attributes for my main character as well as some other new features such as an avatar which we'll talk about that here in a second and the ability to add photos. And even better if I double click on my character name it brings up another view where I can customize things even further. So I can change the avatar if I want. And there's all sorts of new avatars that you can use to help make your characters distinct and, and differentiate them from one another. And I can also add and update images. I can also add additional character attributes. If I click on this little down arrow here, it unlocks even more features that I can, I can add which is great. So you can use as much of this or as little as this as you like. And along the left hand side here, if I click on this little idea bubble, I can even just jot down different ideas about this particular sheet or about this particular character. So it's almost like a, a, a sketch, sketch pad that I can use to freeform thoughts if I want for my character. And if I click down here, I can even add additional images of my character if I want to do that. And this is available at the click of a button. So if you're in the middle of writing your chapter and you need to remember what your character looked like, just double click and all this information is at your fingertips. I think the character sheets are very helpful and the Papyrus Author team now gives you the ability to add items and locations in the same way that you add characters. I can see here when I hover over this that I've got my item here and then if I scroll down a little bit more, I also have my location here. So imagine as you're writing your novel and you've got your characters built out, you've got your items built out, you've got your settings built out, you're going to have a lot of information and be able to access it all very quickly. Earlier, when we were setting up character sheets, I mentioned that you had the ability to add avatars. So if I double click a character and select this avatar, I can change the avatar at will. Now that's important for another reason. If I close out of this and then I go down to the left hand side of Papyrus Author and select Organizer, it brings up the Organizer and you can see here that I now have a section for my characters. So Papyrus Author will keep track of which characters are in the the story, but then they'll also represent those with avatars so it's easier to see. You can imagine the more characters you have in a novel, it just makes it a lot easier to be able to see this visually. The next feature I want to show you is autocorrect. Now I've zoomed in on the text here so you can see it a little bit easier, but how many times have you been typing along and you accidentally type something incorrectly? Papyrus Author has a new autocorrect feature that will subtly let you know that it helped you correct some of the text. So let's say I'm typing along and I make a mistake and you'll see the little brown rectangle that appeared over the I because I accidentally started this sentence with a lowercase I. That'll pop up to let you know that it made a correction. If you want to go back and change it, you can, but it's just a nice visual reminder that Papyrus Author is there helping you as a co-pilot as you are writing your story. Next, let's talk about document statistics. Sometimes when you're writing, you want some data about your story, how you're doing, what your story is looking like. And Papyrus Author now gives you the ability to look at that data in a chart. So if I go up to Document and select Document Statistics Chart, as long as I have a decent number of chapters in the story, I can get this visual 
chart that will show me what's going on in my story. So over on the left hand side here, I've got a couple of different options. We have a basic option, an editing option, and a proof option. I'll cover each of those. But under the basic, I've got a few categories that are turned on. So word repetition, sentences that are too long. And if I wanted to, I could turn on dull verbs or judgmental phrases or even sticky sentences. And you can see how it turns those on. And I've got a few other options here. So if I hover over some of these here, I can see here in chapter six that chapter six has 259 word repetition occurrences, all right, which is higher than my book's average. So I might want to check that out and, and see what's going on. And if I go over here, it says that uh, chapter five has 108 words that are inside very long sentences. So these may be some things that I want to check out. And if I want, I've got a different alternative view, a chapter over chapter view, as well as the ability to zoom in and zoom out. But that's not all. I can also view my results in text form if that is a better way for you to absorb the data. So I can just scroll down here and I can get a report that tells me exactly what is up above, but just in a different format, which is always helpful because everyone learns and, and absorbs data in a different way. And if I, if I go up here on the top and click this I button, this will give me some readability statistics. So over here, I've got a color graph. Basically, the cooler the color is, the easier it is to read. The darker the color is, so the warmer the color is, the harder it is to read. And so you can get a sense of how readable are all of your chapters, and you can adjust that by fiction, nonfiction, or even science if you want to do that. I think that's a great feature. Now, if I go back, I also have the ability to uh, change the the parameters here. So that was I just showed you the basic view. If I select editing, then it turns on some additional criteria, some additional things that uh, it thinks are important to look at. And also I can also select if whether I'm proofreading and then that will that will also look at some different checks as well. And you can also turn checks on and off by clicking these color buttons here. Now let's jump over to the pin board and show you a quick feature that just makes it easier for you to get your ideas down as they come to you. So now I can create a note on the pin board by double clicking anywhere on the pin board and that will automatically create a note. Super simple, super fast, and super easy to use. And if you want to customize your pin board's look and feel even further, there are more great designs and pin board backgrounds for you to choose from so that you can make it customizable and suitable to your personality and the book that you're writing. Another popular feature in Papyrus Author that has received some updates is the ThinkBoard. So if I click on the ThinkBoard icon here, I now have the ability to choose templates. So if you're one of those people that just finds it hard to stare at a blank canvas, now there are templates you can use that will make it a lot easier for you to get your ideas down. So if I select choose a template here, I have a lot of different templates that I can choose from. So I happen to like the three act structure. So I'm gonna click that and you'll notice here that it has populated this for you. So now all you have to do is just come in here and fill in the blanks and you can add to this think board as you see fit. Now, another great thing about Papyrus Author is that you don't have to have just one think board. You can have multiple think boards. So if I go over here on the left hand side and click this button, I can create another think board and this time, maybe I want to do a, a romance think board. Then I have the ability to do that, and I can fill in the blanks as I see fit. This is a great Swiss Army knife to help you get your ideas down, collect them, and organize them in a way that is meaningful to you. As you're creating your think boards, you'll also notice some improvements to adding and editing existing items as those have been updated to make it smoother, faster, and easier for you to get your ideas down on the canvas. Next, if you are one of those authors that loves to write under deadlines and goals and set word count goals for yourself every day, Papyrus Author has you covered. If I go down to the bottom of the app here and select this pie chart, this will bring up a deadline feature, which is a new feature in Papyrus Author that allows you to set goals and keep yourself accountable as you're building out your manuscript. So for this example, I may want to set a goal of... 20,000 words. 
You also have the ability to set an overrun if you're into that, and you have the ability to have Papyrus Author notify you before the deadline. And over here, I can set my deadline. So I've got my deadline set to May 27th, and I can even set that on the calendar here if I wanted to do that. And you can see here that this little play button is the date that you started, and then this ribbon is where you want to end up. Another important part of setting goals is writing sessions. So you can set a goal of say, maybe I wanna write 2000 words per writing session, and then you can reset your session count at a particular time every day. So maybe you go to bed at 10 o'clock every day and you want the, the timer to reset, then you can do that. Or you could set a session goal based on the number of lines, if you happen to be a poet, the number of paragraphs, even the number of pages every day. And this gives you a great level of flexibility to choose how your writing day is going to go. And down here on the bottom here, you can see that it gives you a really nice chart and some really nice goal bars to let you know how you're doing on your project. And those are just a few of the highlights of the new great features in Papyrus Author. Which ones are you most excited about? Be sure to let the Papyrus Author team know in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy writing.